Welcome to video number six in uh, Load Runner and Load Runner testing and uh, just testing in general. So the previous uh, videos we kind of you know we chat about um, what is um, testing, how it works, and how the functionality behind testing works, right? So we got to a point where we kind of went and you know unraveled the whole thing of how testing works. If it comes from performance testing um, to down to the T to uh, different testing materials as in functional testing, um, non -fun we, we learned about non-functional testing, we've learned about load testing, uh, we've learned about uh, stress testing. So there was, there's a couple of things that, you know, we, we had a chat about and we kind of broadened our knowledge in regards to this, right? So now we're going to go a step further and we're going to start with the actual application. So with um, performance testing, you have a certain applications and with functional testing, you have certain applications. And you know, we've already, we already spoke and chat about that. So now we're going to go a step further and we're going to start working with performance testing and working with the tools to actually get everything going, right? So uh, the first thing that I want you to do is I actually want you to get to this website uh, for to download Load Runner. Uh, to do this, very simple. You open up your Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox, and you just literally, uh, in, in Google, it will go. So I'm just going to go to Google.com. Um, Google.com. So, you know, for those that don't know what Google is, and then you can either uh, type in HP Load Runner, or you can even say it, new function to have. So um, definitely something to look at. So I'm just going to go and press HP Load Runner. And we're gonna wait for it to to load uh, to load up. Now the thing about HP Load Runner is, you know, it's quite a looked after um, you know program to have. So and and it gets expensive, right? So but we're gonna have a look at you know getting the the uh, the trial version of um, Load Runner. So I'm just gonna go back and show you where I've clicked. So if you go and Google HP Load Runner, and the first thing right right below the advertising. It says load testing, software testing tools, HP Load Runner, and it's the HP site. So there you can see there's our HP, um, uh, there's the HP uh, site, and we've got a couple of options here. Now, the thing that I want you to be aware of um, is there's two different options of HP Load Runner. And if you click on the trials and, trials and demos, you've got the HP Load Runner 11.5 English and WE Media Evaluation. That's the one that we're going to work with. The other one, a 30-day evaluation of load testing SAAS is not what we're going to work with. So um, it just it gives you an overview of what HP Load Runner is. It's a market-leading performance tool. Um, definitely that. HP Learning Tool is the industry standard for application performance testing. The load testing tools help you to prevent issues by detecting bottom bottlenecks and to obtain um, accurate picture end-to-end -end system performance before going live. So this is quite important. And it also shows you uh, a couple of uh, options that is available. Now, remember when we, when we got in the previous, uh, you know, in the previous video, I've showed you a couple of options which can be used. Uh, this gives you a more ideal option you know, or more idea overview of what Load Runner exactly is able to do. It can be used for AJAX, Flex, HTML5, which is a lot, lot um, important. .NET, Java, GWT, Silverlight, SOAP, uh, Citrix, ERP, and Legacy. So the thing is, the reason why it's called Load Runner is because we are doing a load testing, right? And with load testing, stress testing is, is also hand on hand with that. So Load Runner, um, the load testing key benefits, right? Now let's have a look at what is the... Um, benefits okay of having load runner as a performance testing tool um, it cuts it cuts cost by reducing application performance issues in production very important um, as we go through the hierarchy that we went through in the previous videos it's quite important to understand this so um, and you know the important thing is that uh, speed scripting to accelerate time in market with Payton and HP True Client technology. So it's also about having the speed scripting to be accelerated. Increase efficiency with measurable and repeatable load generation. Very important. Isolate performance bottlenecks with system and end user um, 
monitoring and wide range of analyst components. Use integrated HP diagnostic software to pinpoint root causes of application issues. And that's kind of what we will be using HP for. So I want you to understand that. And I want you to know that HP is also in the cloud. So it's got on-demand load testing software uh, in the cloud. Uh, the the uh, key benefits of being in the cloud, it is out-of-the-box ability to record protocols and avoid time-consuming coding. Cloud-based injectors, load test applications in the form of a of the cloud. Flexible econ economic options so you can pay and save, right? The reason why cloud is always say is, is more uh, or less expensive, not more. <laughs> Less expensive is because you can save money because there's normally a monthly fee um, attached to it. So we're going to go and uh, hit download because we want to go ahead and download uh, HP Load Runner to start working with it. So I'm going to use my details, uh, Jacques, Jacques Corneille, and my surname, Boeta, email. Um, we can use, which email can I use? So... Um, I'm going to use this one, .jb at gmail.com. Um, so this is the first thing that you're going to do. You're going to type in um, certain questions they're going to ask to you. And once we've done this and you accept the terms, then you can get and download and start installing the application, which ideally we want, right? So it's saying what's, so it's going to ask you your first name, uh, your last name, and most importantly, it's probably going to ask you uh, your email address because they normally want to send uh, a bunch of stuff for you or to you. So uh, with the email address, like if you can go and uh, get a temporary email address, um, that will be great. If you're planning on buying it, then definitely go uh, type in your, your proper email address and uh, get things going. So um, I definitely um, using one of my side email addresses, and uh, because I've got the program, I've downloaded the program before. Uh, I've only used the trial, and um, I'm just doing this process for you guys, right? So may HP contact you via email? I'm just going to hit no because I don't want anything from them. What are your plans for using the software? This is where you're going to choose. You're going to evaluate network monitoring. Uh, it's not very important. They just want it for for books. So I'm just going to go and choose evaluate. Um, and then about your company, so you can go and type in um, your company name, and um, I'm just going to go and type in private, and I'm going to just say 403 um, whatever, I'm just typing in anything. Um, and then the address is 123 ABC Street, Dublington. So I'm just making something up here. Okay, uh, state, let's say we are in uh, Quebec. <laughs> Zip code, 12345. I think that's not going to work. Let's have a look. Oh, it's asking the city of town. Um, Montreal. Let's type it this. I know it's spelled wrong, but I don't really care. Okay. So, uh, once we've done the terms and conditions, we're just going to hit agree, okay? So, once we hit agree, it's going to give us the option of uh, downloading the software. Now, note, guys, this is only a trial version. Uh, if you're going to use this as a proper version, or you're going to use this in, you know, in a, in a proper, how can I say, uh, ordeal in a company, I would suggest typing in the right things, typing in your right email address, typing in the right telephone number, uh, etc cetera, etc cetera, because when it comes to buying the product it's going to be very important so make sure that you type in the correct stuff so we're going to go and just say standard download we're going to go for the uh, 30-day trial t71 uh, 77 so you'll see that it is 1.9 gigs in total so we're going to uh, kind of, you know, wait for that 1.9 gig to uh, download. Um, and whilst we wait, we can uh, have a quick look at the, HP, uh, at the HP website in general. Because, you know, the website's going to be something or a source.